na wale kutoka Rift Valley tuliungana tukapendana na tukakuwa na maelewano na tukamuunga rais mkono nikiwa naibu wake ningetaka tu kuuliza rais wetu ajaribu tu aweke nyumba yake pamoja tuweze kufanyia wananchi kazi tangu tuchaguliwe ni mwaka miwili kuna kazi mingi sana simesimama ya barabara ya maji ya stima ya mashule na kulingana na mimi hiyo ndio kitu ya maana sana hii maneno ya mipango ya kuumiza wengine na kutatisa wengine hiyo maneno ukiniliza haina haja kwa sababu sisi tulipewa miaka tano tufanye kazi na kama iko shida kwa boma mzee mwenye boma ataketi chini na bibi zake na watoto atatue lakini tukianza kutengana i want to caution that the direction that is being taken ya kubomoa hii nyumba yetu hii nyumba ikibomoka haitarudi tena that is the truth that action people are planning wakisaidiwa na watu hawakuwa na sisi ikivuja hii boma ya UDA haitaweza rudi tena itasabaratika hapa hapa <coughs> kwetu kikuyuni kuna msemo inasemanga usipoteze inne ukifuata ngapi nane i want to ask my brother my boss president william ruto to be cautious and do the right thing let's keep our house together let us not be disruptive and let us not reintroduce the politics of betrayal president william ruto <coughs> is the greatest beneficiary of the people of mount kenya district for betrayal our people hate betrayal and they are very unforgiving if you betray them I ask my brother President William Ruto not to be tempted to go to that direction because these people will be very unforgiving. When there was an attempt to betray him, the people of this region said no. We don't like betrayal. We don't entertain betrayal. And for that reason, the people of this region stood with him to a man to express their displeasure at betrayal. If the people of this region feel betrayed as they will if we go into that direction these people will be very unforgiving that's just my advice it doesn't have to be taken i've been around for a long time mimi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya moi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya kebake nimekuwa hapo wakati ya uhuru sasa niko hapo mimi najua mambo mawili matatu hii watu ya mlima Kenya mimi nawaelewa sana kisaliti watu uhusiano yako na hawa itafika mwisho and they cannot be salvaged i still think there is room for the president to put his house in order talk to everybody and let us get back to work and serve the people of kenya execute the mandate that they gave us we give very many promises we need to keep those promises and it's important that we keep those promises the other day i asked the president to keep one promise to the people of kenya that requires no funding requires no imf requires no world bank he promised the people of kenya that under his watch his deputy will never be humiliated didn't he promise we are asking him to keep that promise if he can't keep that one promise nobody can trust him to keep any other promise so it's up to him it's up to him sisi tuko pale sisi ni watu wa mungu and for me i'm comforted by the fact that when things were very difficult for president william ruto and he was under a lot of attack a lot of schemes a lot of intimidation a lot of humiliation a lot of harassment mungu alisimama na yeye huyo huyo mungu alisimama na rais william ruto hakuna bahari ameenda si yako tu that is my comfort ya kwamba huyo mungu hakuna bahari ameenda he still there so let us see how things unfold 
Let us see how things unfold, but we have a country to run. We need to be careful so that we don't create a criminal in this country. And I want to advise that we came together with our brothers from the Rift Valley to support President William Ruto, and we agreed. Let us not create a situation where these communities never trust each other in future. I think we need to be careful. We need to be careful. We need to walk the path and the journey that we started. We want to support the president to succeed. We are more than ready so that we serve the people of Kenya for the time that God has given us a chance to the people of Kenya. And in my view, that is the right thing to do. Any attempt to disrupt that mandate will have serious implications in our politics. And that is not healthy for the country, it's not healthy for our government, and it is not healthy for our leadership. So let us be careful, let us be cautious, let us be reasonable, and let us do the right thing by respecting the will of the people. The people of Kenya, through a direct vote, chose a president and a deputy. Give the people of Kenya that respect. Let us not try to carry out their mandate and take it upon ourselves to interfere with the will of the people. Mimi sitaki nisidisha kutoka hapo. Nimeshukuru sana Baba Askofu tutakutafuta dio tujue vile tutasaidia. We want to thank you, Presiding Bishop, for the very strong sermon.